Welcome to lesson seven, rounding multi-digit whole numbers. Now, what we're gonna do this lesson is obviously we're gonna learn how to round whole numbers, and they're gonna be multi-digits. That means more than one digit. So the question that we're gonna ask ourselves is round 6,700 to the nearest thousand. Well, what we're gonna do to use, help us round this number is we're gonna use what's called a vertical number line. Now, when we're using a vertical number line, we're gonna take a look at our number right here, 6,700. Now we want to think about, we're looking for the nearest thousand. So I want to ask myself, which digit is in the thousands place? Well, if I remember from place value, there's my ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to underline the digit that I'm looking for, that I'm going to round there. So I'm going to round the nearest thousands place. With my number being 6,700, I need to think about what numbers can it be close to? Well, it can either be close to 6,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 6,000 down at the bottom here. So I have 6,000 written down at the bottom. Or what's next after 6,000? Well, I see that there's 6,700. So it's between 6,000 and the next 1,000, which would be 7,000. So I'm going to put that on my top line right here. Now, as you notice, I have another line right in the middle. What do I do with this line? Well, I have to find out what is the halfway point between 6,000 and 7,000. I'm going to scoot on over here and I'm going to write my numbers with the hundreds place this time, starting at 6,000 all the way to 7,000. So I'm going to start with 6,000, 6,100, 6,200, 6,300, 6,400, 6,500, 6,600, 6,700, 6,800, 6,900, and 7,000. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what is the halfway point between 6,000 and 7,000. Well, how am I going to do this? I'm going to start off at the top and the bottom at the same time. And I'm just going to scratch them out one at a time. So I'll take one off the top and I'm going to take one off the bottom. Another one off the top, another one off the bottom. I'm going to continue this until I have only one number left. So let me scratch it. One off the top, one off the bottom one off the top, one off the bottom, one off the top, one off the bottom. There's only one number left, and that number is 6,500. So this is the halfway point between 6,000 and 7,000. So I'm going to write that number down on the middle line. I've got my vertical number line set up. I've got 6,000 to 7,000, and the midway point is 6,500. And I'm doing that because I'm rounding to the nearest thousands place. Now I look back at my original number and I need to think 6,700. So now I'm going to look at this hundreds place here. That's 7. Where would 7 go in the hundreds place? Well, I have 0. If I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6,700 would be somewhere around here on my vertical number line because I'm counting from 6,000 to 6,700. Now you ask myself, well, is it closer to 7,000 or is it closer to 6,000? Now judging by my number line, I can easily see that, well, since I'm going to the nearest 1,000, it's a long way from 6,000, but it's only got a short way to travel to 7,000. So my answer would be 6,700 rounds to 7,000. Now stay tuned and we're going to take a look at a couple of homework problems. Welcome to homework question 1C. Now question 1C, we're still rounding multi-digit whole numbers. 1C says round 32,879 to the nearest thousand. Well just like I just explained, we're going to use a vertical number line to solve this problem. I'm just going to draw a quick vertical line. 
Remember, vertical means up and down. So on my vertical number line, I need a line at the top and a line at the bottom here. That way, I can show what's the smallest number this month this number might be able to round to, and what's the largest number it might be able to round to. So, 32,879. I need to round this number to the nearest thousand place. What's the closest thousand? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. The first one I can always identify is the 32,000, because that's what it says right here. So, on the bottom of my number line, I'm going to write 32,000. Now that I have 32,000, I want to think, what digit will come after the 2 in the thousands place? 33,000. So now I'm going to try to decide which is it closest to. Is it closer to 32,000 or is it closer to 33,000? You remember from just a few minutes ago, we have to find the halfway number. What's halfway again? Right in the middle. So we need to figure out which one, 32,000 to 33,000, what is right in the middle of those? I'm going to write my numbers again, starting with 32,000 at the bottom, and I'm going to count by my hundreds, because that's the key to finding where it's going to round to in the thousands place. So I'm going to start at 32,000, and I'm going to count up to 33,000 by hundreds. So let me scoot over here by my halfway number part, and I'm going to start 32,000. 32,100, 32,200, 32,300, 32,400, 32,500, 32,600, 32,700, just like before, I'm starting to run out of room, so I'm just going to scoot over just a little bit here. 32,800, 32,900, and 33,000. How do I find my halfway mark? I went from my hundredth place all the way up to 33,000. Now, one off the bottom and one off the top. Scratch one off the bottom and one off the top. One off the bottom, 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 one off the top. And here we are. We're left with 32,500. Some of you might be able to see a pattern going on with every time we're looking for a halfway number. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that about halfway, as close to halfway as I can, but on my vertical number line. 32,500. Now I can turn my attention back to my question. Round 32,879 to the nearest thousand. Where's it going to go? Well, let's look back at the hundredth place. 32,800. Like before, we're going to imagine we're going to put our hundredth place on this chart and when we get to the 800, we'll stop and put it about where it'll be. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my 8 and my 100 place will go right around there. 32,879. Where does this number have to travel the shortest distance to? Which number is it closer to? Is it closer to 32,000 or 33,000? It's got to go a long way to get to 32,000. It's even got to hop over, play a little leapfrog with 32,500. I know if I'm trying to get somewhere quick, I don't have time for leapfrog. So, I have to go to 33,000 because I don't have to leap over anybody or any number. So, my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to circle that because 32,879 is closer to 33,000. So, we're rounding this number to the nearest thousand. Which thousand is it closest to? 33,000. Remember, I'm going to write it down. 32,879 rounds to 33,000. And there we have our answer.